all right guys welcome back central florida prepper here today i have a real quick story i have things to do i gotta go to therapy and stuff like that um a couple weeks ago we went over our night vision uh this was the um fire field i purchased off of amazon it was a generation one I did a little video on it showing how things look through and stuff like that and we all paid like a hundred bucks for them all right the reason i bring up night vision I always said night vision was going to be a good thing to have during SHTF. Well, there's been some new science and new stories going on with night vision. And something I want to bring up and report here. This is from futurism.com. Scientists, U.S. soldiers could receive night vision eye injections. In February, a team of scientists from China and the U.S. reported that they had given mice the ability to see in the dark by injecting nanoparticles in the animal's eyeballs. At the time, researcher said he definitely thought the same technique would work in humans, and now one scientist has come out to explain why the first people to undergo the procedure might be in the U.S. military. Now, I will leave links up for this article and I will also pop up links for the study that was done in the journal cell um, pop it up here for you I won't go over that there's a lot of technical words in there that let's face it this old dumb country boy I'm not even about to uh, attempt that but I will put it up there for you I mean they're talking about what all happened in the research and everything for this there are some diagrams and things like that that you could take a look at. Um, but yeah, I'm not a technical scientific mind. I mean, they even got formulas and stuff in here. The con up conversion nanoparticle cell structure. I don't even know what half these symbols even mean. But now, if you are a scientific mind person, you might be able to make heads and tails of this. But the reason I want to bring up these this article today. For a good while now, I mean several months, even t towards the last bit of last, uh, till end of last year, we were seeing drills held by U.S. military, um, night drills, a lot of night drills. There had been reports of massive amounts of night vision that was being purchased by the U.S. military. And a lot of people were trying to figure out what all this what all this was gearing to now seeing that they're trying to do this night vision for US troops by injections I can see the application being you know I can see where it would be good for military applications um, but my question is this we, we keep hearing the threat of EMP losing power we see these night drills we see all these operations happening you know pitch black darkness I mean <clears throat> they're not doing it in broad daylight so they're doing their night for a reason they're talking about training for underground warfare and tunnels why I know there's a lot of speculation um, me personally I don't have any contacts to even look up to see you know even an idea of what's going on uh, just like you guys I've check out the news check out other theories and articles I can find but for me it's, it's concerning I, I think there's something else behind this than just nighttime warfare you know if we go to battle all these drills we do here on the states yeah, I, mean, I think like every state's done it now why anyway I won't take any more of your time, guys. Um, I just want to get this article out there for y'all. Again, I'll put up the links in the description uh, so you can go check it out and um, you know make your own decisions. You know on on that. You know, hit that comment box. Let me tell me what you think. What what do you think's going on with this? I mean, if this is this just innocent enough? You know, just another progression in military application, or are they planning to? do something with this I mean is there a is there a need that is pushing this study you know 
give me your thoughts guys all right so I won't take any more of your time I've got things to do today I just wanted to make a real quick video to get this information out to y'all so y'all take care and I'll speak to y'all later